This is Terry here with Music Exclusives TV, and to the right I have a very talented actor. He's been in Get Rich or Die Trying, a Biggie movie. Yeah. You've been on television shows. You've been uh, in so many different things. How does it feel to be out here in New York, bro? It feels good, man. I'm from New York, born and raised, so it's good to be in my city, in my element, seeing the people that, that pretty much birthed me, you know? How did you get your first break into the acting business? Oh, uh, my dad gave me my start when I was like a little handheld baby. I was like three weeks old three doing weeks print old. work. And in my first commercial, I was two. That led to my first movie at four, Losing Isaiah. So wow. it was, it was over from there. Isaiah? I was Isaiah. No, what? That was you? Yeah. Get out of town. Yup, little big head baby. Yup. And then after that, I um, after that, people PC commercials, became the spokesperson for Band-Aid brand, then like Stroll Little 2 and Finding Nemo and Monsters Inc. and Charlie's Angels 2, a lot of stuff. So the 50 movie. Mm-hmm. Get Rich or Die Trying, Notorious, Big Mama South Street. It just spiraled, man. One thing led to another. Wow. Yeah. And I hear now you have an acting school. What yeah. made you want to do that? Um, my mom is a teacher, so ever since I was young, I always like wanted to teach and stuff like that. And I actually applied to and got accepted to Columbia and Fordham for early child education, but never was able to go. Wow. So like teaching acting was my way of not only giving back, but satisfying my hunger for teaching. So, nice. you know, it, it, it turned out good. It was a win-win situation. Nice. Yep. Um, anything in entertainment is extremely competitive. Mm -hmm. You've done some great movies. Do, are you where you want to be now in your career? Never, because you can always grow, you know? Even though I'm doing good, there's always people that's doing better. So one thing that I realized is that the moment that you feel you've made it or you reached a certain plateau, that's the moment you start falling off. And one thing with me is there's always room for improvement. So that's what I'm going I'm to continue to do. If you could go back maybe about five years, is there, what, what things would you do differently to possibly make a different 2014 for you? Um, nothing really. I've always been like very selective with the guidance of my parents and stuff like that with my career. Yeah. So there's nothing that I did that I regret or something that I wasn't doing at a young age. Because a lot of people had a philosophy, you young, you got energy, so enjoy yeah. it. I say grind hard while you're young so that way when you get nice. older you can enjoy yourself. So I, I don't feel there's any opportunities that I really miss growing up. What, 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 when you played and Get Rich or Die Trying, what was it like watching 50 Cent and what um, advice did he give you on how to like really become his character? Um, 50 just told me to watch him. I flew out to Toronto for like a month before we started shooting and I just studied his mannerisms and watched how he moved and things like that. Yeah. And then, you know, he gave me insight on his relationship with his parents, his grandparents, um, rather growing up and stuff like that. Wow. And just, he told me more so to just focus on the things that make him like who he is. Mm. So kind of just being around him, it rubbed off on me and that's how I was able to duplicate that character. Nice. Yeah. I mean, it's, if you, Halle Berry, you were a baby, Halle Berry and to the 50 movie yeah. where do you see yourself in the next 10 years in uh just still acting you know uh, one thing about me is that I, I like to I like to set goals but I'm always positive about my goals but I'm realistic at the same time so yeah. as long as I'm still doing it I'm still in the acting industry and, and yeah. putting out movies that's just where I want to be man and just be selective stay as mainstream as possible nice yep. and to close this up to anybody out there pursuing a goal or dream what advice did you get to them I would say just stay dedicated, man. Perseverance is the main thing. It doesn't matter what your destination is. It doesn't matter how long it takes to get there. As long as you're heading in the, the right direction and you keep moving, one day you'll eventually get there. So don't let failure or or not even failure, don't let no's cause your discouragement and feel like it's failure. No just means that you haven't tried enough and you haven't said enough. So nice. rework your plan, rework your strategy, and keep moving in the right direction. That's it. My man, I love that. Tell the people how they can reach you. Uh, Y'all can reach me on Instagram. Or Twitter, Mark John J, M A R C J O H N J. That's it. So there we have it. We closing this out. We downtown Brooklyn, uh -huh. two blocks from the Barclays. Yeah, yeah. I mean, New York is in the building. Terry with Mark John J. We just Definitely. closing it out. Music exclusive TV. We are over and out. Peace. Thank you.